for tuning in to Let's Talk About It Media 21. I hope you're having a great day. Stay positive, stay focused. Let's get to it. What is the hot topic that's going on on YouTube or Instagram? Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships and research. Fair use is use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged in our opinion and for entertainment purposes only. Don't forget, the Cash App is Let's Talk About It Media. Thank you for all your love and support. So don't forget to like, to comment, but be kind, and also turn on the notification bell. So if you don't want to leave a comment, that's fine. You could always leave a thumbs up, a heart, a rose. Any and everything helps with the page. Any interaction helps with the page. Sharing, liking is free. So let's get to <clears throat> still recovering. So let's get to um, Paula Abdul Sue's. Uh, uh, American Idol executive producer for SA. Now, let's go, let me go to the smaller one first. Let's see. Many pages are covering it. Raider Online, The Neighborhood Talk, People, it goes on and on as far as people are talking about what's going on. Okay, so Paula Abdul is allegedly suing uh, Nigel from American, the show. Um, American Idol um, alleges he forced himself on her during the time as a judge on American Idol so you and so you think you can dance so let me get to the other one okay Paulo Abdul has filed a lawsuit against American Idol executive producer Nigel for SA uh, her many times while she was a judge on Idol, and so you think you can dance. She is coming forward due to the California Act, I'll just be general, and a cover-up for the accountability, which allows victims to file that wouldn't have been uh, barred due to the statute of limitations. According to TMZ, the incident occurred during a, one of the American Idol early seasons while they were um, heading for the regional auditions. The case was filed in Los Angeles on Friday. Abdul claimed she and um, Nigel were in an elevator at, <clears throat> at a hotel and he slammed her against the wall, grabbing her chest and her womenly parts and tried to tongue her and kiss her while in the elevator doors open Paula she tried to push him away and went to her room she claimed she called one of her representatives to alert them of the SA but she was afraid she would be fired in retaliation so she remained quiet about it this is sad that many people feel that they have to do that and sometimes it's like you can't be alone with these people and you almost have to act like, oh, go ahead. You go, you go by yourself. Oh, I got to take this call or something. If you feel a way, not blaming because somebody in the comments is going to be like, oh, da, 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 da. She was on two jobs and this guy was trying to assert himself on her, which is sad, really sad. So she remained quiet about it. The second claim in regards to the SA um, was in 2015 after she accepted a new deal to become a judge on So You Think You Can Dance. Nigel called Abdul to his house to explore career opportunities during one of the two seasons on the show. So she accepted the invitation and she felt that it was a business situation. So you think... He's calling me to his house. She's probably not going to be the only one there. It could be his manager, her manager, you know, just people there. That's what they do. They trick you and say, this is what we're going to do in conversations. And you're thinking other people are going to show up. Or, and or you get there and they say, oh, they didn't answer my phone call when I said, come on over. Or they, they said they had something they had to do or something. So things switch and change. So you got to be very careful with people. 
and not be there by them by yourself. Once you walk through that door and notice no one else is there, nope, let's FaceTime now that there's more technology. Let's FaceTime. Some of these uh, people, they try to set you up in situations that are uncomfortable and you think that it's okay to get in the elevator with a person. It's not. You would think that it's okay to go to a person's house for a business meeting if you think that others are going to be there. Some of these situations are not. So you got to be careful for the for the setups that the people do in regards to SA and never try and be somewhere by yourself. Your manager has to be there, FaceTime, do a call. It's sad that she even had to go through this and she was scared to speak up in regards to losing her job. You know, she's so she seems so sweet, so kind, so loving. She experienced this on two jobs. And it's nice that the um the law has changed where people can come out and speak in regards to their concerns. Trigger warning if you don't want, like to hear this kind of stuff, you know, just a heads up. But yeah, I wish Paula Abdul well. I mean, so many people are talking about it. Um, shade, the shade room, Paula Abdul says the American Idol. So you think you should dance producer Nigel for SA? Um, let's see. Radar online, Paula Abdul sues Nigel for SA claims he forced himself on her during an American Idol situation. That's, this is sad, you know, but you know, don't be in the comments saying, you know, the victim always gets blamed. No, a lot of times we try and tell people what to do, how to do it. We look at Christian Keys whenever he was in a situation, he kept a pen recorder on him. Click that button. Anytime you felt something would go left, anytime, you know, you felt a person that you're supposed to be working with might say something, do something. So just think about all the recording he has in regards to the person saying, you know, this to Christian, the person saying, hey, I'm going to give you a hundred, you know, da, 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 da. So Christian Keys has proof of what he's been through. I wonder if Paula does, because, you know, we've had cell phones for a while. And a lot of times you can act like you're on the phone and record situations. If there's something that's just uncomfortable, a lot of, a lot of weird things won't happen when the other people are around. But the sad part is sometimes people will still joke with you when other people are around. Oh, you look great in that. Oh, that's so tight on your waist, your chest. Sometimes people don't care. They're that we 